I'm sitting here with my friend, Darren Moten. There was a dissertation from a graduate student uh, called um, A Gruesome Warning for Black Girls, the August 16th, 1912 execution of Virginia Christian. The story that was told in those pages took hold of me. And one of the great things that impressed me was the depth to which the research had gone and the primary materials that you had discovered. At the time I finished reading that dissertation, I felt I had a better understanding of the pernicious evil <laughs> of Jim Crow legislation of that time. I had a great roadmap. Thank you, I mean, it's really gratifying uh, for, for us to have this conversation now about something that was very um, important to me at one time in my life and still is very important to me. I knew that this was a huge miscarriage of justice. I'm not saying that Virginia Christian did not commit a crime. I, I just question whether or not she should have been executed. From my reading of the historical records, um, I, uh, I am not at all convinced um, that she showed up at Ida Belote's home with the intent of murdering her. One of the things that's sort of easy to forget about this story is the fact that we're really talking about a child. Oh, absolutely. Another aspect about this story that is so striking is that this story shows graphically um, how a crime committed by a black person against a white person really vexed um, the African-American community. Mm -hmm. The fact that she was able to have um, organizations like the NAACP and the National Association of Colored Women um, to um, lobby um, the governor on her behalf or in her behalf, I think really speaks volumes. Mm -hmm. You know, papers would write about her and they would talk about her hair and yeah. they would talk about her dark complexion. Yeah. So they were creating this image of this monster, if yeah. you will, yeah. um, in, in the paper. In, yeah. in other words, basically saying to people that this is not somebody we need to worry about. I feel like I can show this. I mm -hmm. can show how awful Mm -hmm. uh, this, this system was. Well, I'm taken by uh, your story about the uh, descendant of Fields who uh, works at the Magdalena Walker home in, in Richmond. I've been to that home. Mm -hmm. um, I have not met her, but uh, what um, excites me about this story and about learning about her is that Magdalena Walker was a signature for a petition that was taken on the floor of a convention um, held in Hampton in July of um, 1912 by the National Association of Colored Women. Um, this is the petition that was um, um, taken up on the floor. The women of the NACW um, agreed to um, elicit the, um, the assistance of the NAACP, um, and the NAACP had even agreed to hire Pinkerton detectives mm -hmm. um, to um, investigate. One of many amazing things about this document is you look at this and here's page after page of signatures of these leaders throughout right. the United States. But based upon the visit from Mary Church Correll, Virginia was going to die in 10 days, Absolutely. I believe it was. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And the governor allowed her to do and that. The governor approved it, yes. gave, yeah. him, gave it his, that visit his right. blessing. Because it wouldn't have happened otherwise. It would not have happened otherwise. Right. This was the only black female juvenile ever executed in Virginia history from colonial days. Yeah. Why this man, the governor, did not relent. It's, it's still a mystery to me. I owe you a great thank you because you brought me to a story that I felt was so important uh, because of so much, unfortunately, so much of what we read about today. Yeah. Um, and I just remember what I was reading when, you know, in George Lukacs' book about the historical novel. He said, unless an historical novel is relevant to life as it's lived today, mm -hmm. it's just an artifact. Mm -hmm. And I 
feel that this story uh, was so important and the work that you did as a graduate student to bring shape to it is so remarkable and I'm, I'm honored <laughs> that, that I found that and, and was able to pursue it.